Hey guys, my name is Vanessa, and today's video I want to show you guys how I created this Halo Flail Eye Look with a little bit of eyeliner. So if you guys like to see how I create this eye look, then please continue watching. Okay, I'm already adding some concealer. Add some translucent powder, usually like around the crease area. Just gonna clean under here because it's in my cayo poquito polvo. Okay, now to get started with this halo red eye look, I'm gonna be using this palette. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. Apply it right on the crease and then the upper crease. Here I kind of wing it out. By the way, this is in the shade on the truth. So now I'm going to apply this color on the crease. Bring it down a little bit lower right here. Make sure these colors are nice and blended together. Okay, now we're going to apply Boss Angeles and Calabasas. I'm going to apply it in the outer V right here to the crease and to the inner corner. I know it looks <laughs> like a mess, but ahorita la vamos a acomodar. Alright, so we're gonna add a little bit of like dark brown color. So I'm gonna grab high deal right here. By the way, I switched brushes just to be a little bit more like precise. And I'm using the Morphe M433. Gonna focus it right on the crease. So same thing. And the outer V tapping. And lightly winging it out. And in the inner corner. And it's okay if it like goes like all the way in here because either way we're going to be doing some like half cut crease. So I'm going back with my first brush that I was using. This is the Morphe M441. And I'm going to lightly blend. Okay, now to get started with the half cut crease. Well, it's not really like a half cut crease, more like a halo cut crease. So I'm going to be doing it like this. Bring the concealer all the way up and then blend it with my ring finger. And start applying this red shade where I added the concealer. This is in one noise. I'm just adding a little bit more, that way the concealer doesn't show. And back with my Morphe 433, I'm just going to lightly blend the colors. And on the brow bone, I'm going to apply this color right here, which is designer label. Okay, so right now I'm applying my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm kind of lifting up the eyeshadows like this. So now I'm applying my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is in the shade 6.0. One of my favorites. Just 
give you a little bit more coverage around this area, my <laughs> cheek area. So I feel like that's where I need more coverage. Now to start highlighting, I'm going to be using my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is in the shade medium. Here I'm just using a little mini buffing brush just to be a little more precise where to blend. Just to make sure there's no concealer lines or any harsh lines. By the way, and I'm using my Morphe M173 brush. Start setting my face using one of my favorite loose setting powder. Using the Huda Beauty and I use in the shade Blondie. So now that I bronzed, ya bronceada, and I use of course the Huda Benefit bronzer, I'm going to start applying some mascara using the Nars Climax. I'm going to let it set a little bit more. Meanwhile, I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to apply my Benefit California. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. I'm going to apply it on the bridge of my nose and in the inner corners. So now to swipe the powder and blend around the jawline and the T-zone area. Make sure everything's all nice and smooth. Here I'm just going to bronze a little bit more. So now I'm going to apply some makeup setting spray using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So now I'm going to start applying my lip liner and lipstick using my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner. This is in 2C. I love this lip color. Now to add on top, use one of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks by Morphe in the shade Jealousy. By the way, I added in this lipstick color, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Urban Decay Lipstick in 1993. And now for lashes, so I'm going to be using the Lash Book by Batty V. And I'm going to be using this one, which is Fire. I'm going to be using one of the lashes that are like more spread it out, that way the halo eye is more like noticeable. Stay bien, <laughs> it's like raining outside. I don't know if you guys hear las gotas. Well, mira, si queda bien con este eye look. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial, and see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.